All right, I am about to do a partial relaxer and I kind of enjoyed doing the vlog style where I did my hair and talked to y'all, did a chit chat. So I decided to do that again with this video. I'm doing a partial relaxer. If you don't know what a partial relaxer is, that is when you relax around the sides and the back of your hair and you don't relax the top. Typically, if you wear a short pixie cut like what I'm wearing, you want to do this maybe every three weeks or so. This to, helps to make sure that your hair lays down and all of that good stuff. So it is time for me. I recently got my hair cut last week. And because she cut so much of my hair off around the sides, it's definitely time for me to uh, do a partial relaxer. So that's what I am about to do right now. And the relaxer that I'm using, if anyone cares, is the RS Olive Oil Relaxer. Yeah, I usually use Mazzani, but I think when I decided to go back to the relaxer, this is the one that I get. I don't buy those box relaxers where you have to mix it. I haven't used those since the 90s. I typically go and get the relaxers like this. I just feel like they're easy to use. Um, they last longer and all of that good stuff. And when you go to the beauty shop, if you ever notice, they use like relaxers in tubs. They don't use like the relaxers that you have to mix all the time. That's just my observation. So yeah, um, I decided to do this. Like I said, this would be like a vlog style. And I just, I don't know. I wanted to, I just decided to do it this way. Honestly, y'all, when it comes to YouTube content, I'm kind of losing my, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm losing my passion for it. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm just getting spoiled with um, TikTok and like reels and just doing a quick video and being done. Or is it, you know, and getting more views, getting more exposure that way. So I don't feel like you're doing it any, for nothing. As opposed to when you do a video on YouTube, it's a production. And because I'm a small YouTuber, I have under a thousand um, subscribers. It's like I do a video and... I'm getting maybe 10, 20, 30 views on a video that took me hours to make. So it can be discouraging to kind of like keep pushing to do those type of videos when you're not getting that, you know, you're not getting, you're not seeing your, you know, no reward for your work. There's no payoff. And... I don't understand, you know, the YouTube algorithms or what it is that, you know, I don't get the views. Because if I do a short on, on YouTube, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting a little bit more views. It don't be a whole lot, but it's uh, more. And it's like, who want to keep? I know they always saying you have to put out the, the content, keep pushing out the content. But who want to keep pushing out content and doing the work and doing all this other stuff to push out content and then nobody sees it like if that's the case if that i can facetime somebody and say hey look how does how does look on me how does outfit look you like like i don't know so i have just i'm starting to lean more into vlogs when it comes to doing content for youtube just a more vlog style because it just seems like it it just seemed like it ain't giving. Like, the YouTube videos is not giving. And I'm kind of feeling like I'm not the only one feeling this way. Because when I'm looking at content now on YouTube, all I'm seeing now is a lot more vlogs. You're not getting that, what I like to call production-based content. Where they are um, really pushing the content out to you. So yeah, that it is it's interesting. Content creation is 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 um is is becoming interesting. Content creation is, is becoming quite interesting right now. But yeah. 
when it comes to the YouTube content and making content for YouTube, honestly, being a content creator, this is the first time I'm saying this out loud. Like, I don't know. I'm not giving up on it. I like creating content. I like making videos. I like um, posting videos, making videos, and creating videos. But, like... I don't know, I'm kind of getting discouraged because it's like, it's such a slow grow. You put so much work into it and it just seems like, like what's, what's going on? And then honestly, I don't even have like a end goal. Am I doing this to get paid? Would I like to get paid? Hell yeah. Um, am I just doing this to build a community? Like I really need to sit down and really figure those things out. But, um, but, you know, just as far as the YouTube side go, I do know that I am kind of losing my zest, my passion for it. Because like I said, you spend so much, you it's, doing a production video, it just, it's, it's not a vibe. It's, it's not giving. It is not giving whatsoever. So I'm going to let this sit. Uh, I'm going to let this sit. I'm not going to record while I'm letting it sit because it'll just be watching that grass grow. And I'll be right back. So I said that this was going to be a vlog style. Why I stopped that video? Let me turn it up. Let me get out of here because there's music playing in here. But what do I do when I be waiting for my hair to uh, cook? Uh, nothing. Sitting around. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Just sitting and chilling. So I think that's why I stopped it too. But yeah. Just sit. You know. Let it cook. I usually do a timer. I didn't do a timer this time. I'm tripping. Ah. Oh. I'm tripping, but it'll be fine. This short hair, it need it because, honey, it'll sweat and all this other good stuff. So, I need it. Um, if y'all asking and wondering what's going on with me and my hair color, I don't know if I want to stay blind or if I want to uh, keep, if I want to stay all the way blind or you know keep it two-tone or just go back to my natural hair color so i'm just going to leave it at is typically when i don't typically i would just do something out of impulse and then regret it later but i decided that since i'm not 100 percent sure what i want to do i am just going to leave it um, my sister told me that i should just wear it like this, you know, since it's about to get cool. And then in the summer months, pop out with the full blonde, which I think I might do. Um, I think that'd be great because I won't have to worry about coloring my hair so much. I could color my hair around the, uh, the beginning of summer or just as summer is about to start. And then let that blonde grow out, go into my darker hair color in the winter months. And then, you know, do it all over again. So that's the plan right now. But yeah, it's starting to heat up around here, if you know what I mean. If you know, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready and rinse this out. And I shall be right back. So these are the products that I will be using to shampoo my hair. We have the Neutralizer Shampoo, my Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo by Shea Moisture, and this Verb Ghost Hair Mask that I got in the Sephora hair packet thing. So that's what I'm going to use for my hair. But y'all, I am so irritated. My um, building decided to give us new uh, water faucets and stuff to reserve water or whatever. And this is what we have now. And it is so uncomfortable trying to shampoo my hair. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like real quick. So this is what it's like to wash my hair. It is so freaking uncomfortable. And it makes a mess. I hate it. I hate it. I freaking hate it. I can adjust the water. I forgot to say that. So I do it like this so that water don't fly everywhere. Cause when I keep it like this, water be everywhere, but I hate this. And I don't wanna bend over in the sink, bend over in the shower to wash my hair either. So yeah, I hate this. I think this is so dumb, so stupid.
So I had to come from up under that sink child. And I'm just going to put this hair mask. I could have definitely put the relaxer on the top of my hair because as you can see, it is super curly, but that is fine. That's fine. Um, I'm going to let it, you know, we're going to make it do what it do. I'll straighten it out and get it together. It's not going to be looking crazy. I don't want to over process my hair. So, yeah, I just relaxed it. I try to relax my hair. Um, so the way I like to relax my hair is I do a partial relaxer every month. And then I do a regular relaxer every other month. But the way that since my hair is shorter, I might have to do a partial relaxer uh, every three weeks. And then a regular full relaxer maybe every six weeks. So it'll be, it'll go from doing every four and eight weeks to every three to six weeks. So we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, so now I'm going to put this plastic cap on and let this deep conditioner sit while this hair mask sit. I only do deep conditioners when I'm doing color or relaxers just because I'm doing a chemical process to my hair. So I want to make sure that my hair is really getting conditioned. Yeah, I put that deep conditioner in my hair and went and laid the hair down. I even dozed off for a little bit with plastic cap in my hair and everything. So now I'm about to mold my hair so I can get ready to get under the dryer. Um, and I probably will end the video like after I mold it because I don't know if I'm curly and after I mold it and sit under the dryer, I think that'll be it. So uh, for those that care, the ORS olive oil, I need to go get me, now that my hair not blonde anymore, I can go and get me some Nairobi because I don't have to worry about my hair fading because when I was using the Nairobi before, it was faded like the blue was um, turning the blonde in my hair green. But now that I don't have that much blonde, I'm think I can go back to using the Nairobi. It's another, it's another foam that I want to use that I've been seeing people that I want to try that I've been seeing a lot of people. It's like a sweet almond or something like that. I've been seeing that a lot too. And also I sprayed some Cream of Nature Argan Oil Strength Strength and shine leave in. I always spray that in my hair first. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mold this hair down really quick. Uh, just a quick mold. I ain't like I got a whole bunch to mold. And then sit under the dryer. I be feeling like, wait a minute. I be feeling like I be putting too much hair at the top. My hair, so. Like, I'm trying to be mindful of that. And then. Of course, the sides and back gonna lay down like butter, cause uh, it's just freshly relaxed. So I'm gonna have to play a little bit with the hair up top to get that hair to lay down the way I want. But can't you tell if you was in watch my last vlog? You saw how I talked about, you know, needing a haircut and how not having my, having a cut was making it a little um, complicated with like molding my hair. You see how quick, basically my hair, I, mold, I was able to mold my hair 
with this haircut, having a haircut, everything kind of just fell in place. That's why I say, if you have a pixie to um, make sure you have a proper cut. A proper cut is key. I feel like that's right here. It's a little too much hair. But yeah, a proper haircut is key with the pixie cut because like you as you can see this hair is laying down even though this up here is wavy it's still laying down pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and once i'm finished molding it because i hate trying to mold my hair and be on camera like i be needing to focus and it'd be a lot trying to talk so i think i got it just about laid it'll be a whole lot smoother if you know the top was relaxed but that's fine it's no big deal this hair right here i don't like the way that's laying so i'll be right i'm gonna come back my arms getting tired too shoot let me mold this and then i'll be back all right so this is my hair fully molded let me give y'all a little 360 real quick Boop, 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 boop. It's wavy up here because, again, your girl uh, about needs to relax that. But it's fine. It'll work out. And then, you know, that's I did my little squigglies and everything. So, I'm going to tie these neck strips down. I feel like I need to, even though I usually don't do this. But since I need a relaxer around here. I am. I usually don't believe in putting all these dang on neck strips on my hair like that. But since your girl needs to relax that up there, we're going to do it. And then we're going to put the strips this way. And I'm making a whole mess. Like so. And then... I really like the way my um, hairdresser, or well, the girl who cut my hair, the way she, her neck strips was, because they just kind of like, I don't know what she did, where she got them from, but they kind of like just stuck. So that's gonna be that, like so. And then we're gonna take these off, just tie them somewhere. And then that's gonna be it, and I'm gonna sit under the dryer, but uh, I'm gonna end this here. I think I've done enough. I've watched, I did, blah, blah, blah. I did it all. So that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this um new hair vlog thing that I've been doing. I kind of like it. I'm still trying to figure out and get used to it. Uh, it's gonna be like the hair chit chat or whatever. These are not tutorials, however, if you pay attention, you can kind of see what I'm doing and pick up something maybe i'm doing something that you don't usually do you can pick that up from there but if you enjoyed this video go ahead like and subscribe and i'll see you on my next video bye